Hi, welcome to the News of Gen for Monday, February 1st, 2021. Happy Change Your Password Day, everyone. Remember to use the same password on the same website as you always do for every other website because that's how it works out and websites have perfect security. It's also National Serpent Day. It's mostly because of how cold it is in the Northern Hemisphere and it's easier to catch them. I am not a herpetologist. Today's top news story is self-centeredly in the United States. No, it's not the coup in Myanmar where the military is taking control of the government. I know a lot of people in the United States were hoping for a military coup, but it didn't seem to work out yet. However, I will note that the emigration from the United States to Myanmar remains at a low level. So all y'all military friends, get to packing. <laughs> uh, the military in Myanmar appears to have taken former President Trump's lead and just declared widespread election fraud because consequences don't exist. Anyway, today's top news story is Republicans have found Jesus and Jesus loves austerity. Jesus, as quoted in Luke eleven nine, says, And so I tell you, keep asking, and you will probably receive nothing because we really have to keep an eye on the bottom line here. President Biden will meet with 10 Republicans who have proposed a $618 billion COVID economic stimulus. This is $1.3 trillion smaller than the Democratic proposal, which some have said is almost approaching real money. However, like birds, money is fake. The statement from the Republicans to President Biden say, We recognize your calls for unity and want to work with you in good faith. This reminds me of being a parent, actually. When your young child wants two pieces of pizza and you only have one piece of pizza, so you cut the one piece of pizza in half so they see it as two pieces of pizza. Except the pizza in this case isn't real. Speaking of people who believe in things that aren't real, Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene seen here denying reality and also wearing a pin with the wrong fucking state on it. You don't represent Louisiana. This is in some hot water over videos and other posts on social media. This includes harassing Parkland shooting victims and calling for Democrats to be murdered. She's kind of a firebrand, they say. Well, with her anti-masking statements and harassing other representatives like Cori Bush from Missouri about masks, she's due to have a sit-down with House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy about her present, past, and, I presume, future behavior. He is expected only to offer her stale cookies, and she better not like them. In economic news, there's still fallout from their run on GameStop stocks. Now, I'm not going to explain short selling because I am not in a tub full of bubbles, and I am also not Margot Robbie, unfortunately. Apparently, the shares have been bought in such high numbers that the funds who shorted the stock cannot replace the stock that they owe. <laughs> Some analysts have said what this is what might be called bad. In probably unrelated news, suicide nets are being installed outside the Wall Street firm's windows. In local news, local GOP Representative Adam Kinzinger, who voted for the impeachment of Donald Trump, said that his vote angered many former supporters. He said he has received letters, certified letters, he pointed out, from friends and family that say he is quote-unquote possessed by the devil. When reached for comment, Satan said he wasn't familiar with Mr. Kinzinger. He had so many souls from Republican lawmakers that it was really hard to tell them apart nowadays. In entertainment news, Evan Rachel Wood has named her abuser as Marilyn Manson. When reached for comment again, Satan had no comment because he couldn't tell them apart. In celebrity news, Dustin Diamond, known for his role as Screech in Saved by the Bell, died of lung cancer today. Satan didn't know who Mr. Diamond was, and the Dark Lord did enjoy Saved by the Bell in a non-ironic way in the 90s. It was a simpler time, Satan said. Indeed it was. And finally, in nature news, a study in the journal Nature says that shark and ray populations have declined by 71% in the past 50 years, mostly due to overfishing. However, fishing group Humans Against Fish say that the oceans now are only 29% as dangerous as they used to be. So that's the news at Jen for Monday, February 1st, 2021. Tomorrow's Groundhog's Day, and you know what that means. It means I'll be re-releasing the same show tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. Probably. I'm working on launching something super special. I'm going to be working on that this week. And then this weekend I have to finish one more home improvement. 
I literally spent my whole weekend dealing with a fucked up bathroom and I don't wish that on anybody. But I want to thank you all for your subscriptions and views. They mean a lot to me. And they, thank you so much to my patrons. This month I hope to be able to afford to buy the motherboard for my computer. It's pretty sweet. And then maybe I can do my taxes and get a chip with whatever pittance I get back from the government. <sighs> that I loaned the money at an interest-free loan. It's like that. Anyway, please remember, I do love you very much. I hope this is the last time I have to record this because this is the fifth time I've had to do it all the way through because of fucking technical problems.